right, we'll go ahead and call the meeting to order, and we'll start with the pledge and then a prayer by Commissioner Patton, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Father in heaven, we come before you this evening, the most humble manner we know how, thanking you for this day in our present health, strength, and energy. We're thankful for the community in which we live. We pray, Father, that we will be attentive and make decisions that will be for the best interest of our community and for the betterment of our community. Be with us tonight, not just tonight, but always. Keep us from the evil one, in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Good job. Welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, okay, first item of business is approval of minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor with aye. Opposed, uh, same. Motion passes. Next item is approval of paying the bills. I make a motion we approve paying the bills. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Going under old business, the first item is accept the blacktop bids, and we do have a bid for blacktop in here from Scotty's, and the only bid, and that was at $105 per ton for the 23-24 season. Uh, prep, a, a, bleh, edge keys are $17 an hour, and in street millings, $1,350 an hour with a five-hour minimum if that we choose to do that. And that is based on the KEAPI fund, uh, asphalt. Index. How far is that going to we go with our ten money? A lot far last year. I was going to say that and price is a little higher. Uh, that's going to get us somewhere in the range of uh, eighteen hundred ton. No, about twenty five hundred ton. Because we didn't spend last year's like Oh, so but I was going, going by what our budget plus yeah. next. Yeah, I'm not so much sure if I'll move to accept Scotty's bid for yeah, that's that fault. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Uh, Post same. Motion passes. Next item is to sell the F-250 work truck. And we do have a bid in here on gutdeals.com for, I guess our portion is $2,780. Right. Okay. And then the buyer's premium is on top of that. So to Make a motion we Ever Steve that. Everly, Everly Brothers Racing. Oh, that's Beaver name. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. County Road, probably. Huh? I think we're mm -hmm. County. I know Steve. Make a motion we accept the bid. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. <clears throat> Next item is the second reading on the ordinance for the Airbnb. And I will say before we get into this, just to make everyone sure, I know there's a letter came through today from a uh, owner of an Airbnb of a unit here. That uses Airbnb and telling us that they're no longer paying the uh, tax because it comes from Airbnb. And there's a problem with the state right now because Airbnb company will, has not been paying it. So I'm just going to let them know in a nice letter that they are still, as the owners of the property, liable for it regardless of who is collecting it. So just if you get any phone calls, <laughs> that's what it's about. But I would entertain a motion to accept that second reading. I'll make a motion we accept a second reading. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? And nothing changed from last month, by the way. So, okay, those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, moving down to new business. Uh, this is one thing I would like to uh, request. Number one is uh, Brownfield. Now, for those who are not familiar, Brownfield is properties that have been industrial or heavy manufacturing through the years and they're up for possible redevelopment and I'm going to ask for approval to request a phase one and two assessment on the sites which would be the old wastewater plant. It's done by the state. They're done free of charge uh, and what it will do if there is anything down there that needs to be cleaned up we need to know about it before we do anything with it anyway because before any grant or any kind of funding is done on it, they're going to request all, require all this. And I know there's been some talk of some possible uses for the property. I've talked with uh, Blake Edge, who's a grad. He feels like since it was 
a wastewater facility and we did get all the closures from Division of Water, he doesn't expect there to be much, if any, kind of problems down there, but it is something we need to do. So I'd like to request permission to go ahead and apply for that phase one and two site assessment. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. I'm going to hold off on the number two to the next meeting because there's a little question on that on code enforcement board members in their terms. Uh, but then item three under new business is approval of the 2024 motor vehicle and watercraft property rate calculation, which was in your packet. It, is that in your packet? Oh, Amy told me they had it. Oh. <laughs> Do they not? Well, it's one of those, it's the one tax rate that's set by the state. Right. We, don't we have no say on it. Anyway. Other than right. to approve it. And it's the same as last year. Yeah. I moved to approve the uh, motor vehicle watercraft tax rate for 2024. Second. So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? That's where we're at now. What is the rate? It's the same as it was last year, but yeah. I don't know what it is. You're going to have to. Check back on that one tomorrow. Yeah. It was one of those that we don't ever have to worry about, so it just kind of went through. But I do have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, same. That motion passes. Jim, you have anything? Yes. No. Yesterday, I was asked by an eight or nine year old boy in my church if I ever saw the mayor. And I said I do, and he had a suggestion for a Beaver Dam, Kentucky sign that he wanted presented to the mayor, and I had him to give his name and address, and I told him I would present that to you, Connor Monroe. Okay. And uh, he he saw that one of the other cities had a new sign, and he got worried about ours and he drew that on his own and asked me and I said I personally know the mayor when he <laughs> asked me and I said I will give that to the mayor at the meeting tomorrow night. Okay. Well we appreciate it. We need this. Letter. Huh? We need yeah. Letter. Does he know we do have signs at the Yeah, he okay. does. Our he is, he was worried that we don't have a new one though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Anything else? No, thank you. Everything's okay. No, I'm just ready tonight. Kevin? I'm good. The only thing I wanted to say is this weekend we had two different artists, and I got to haul the people back and forth and back and forth. They brag so much on our little town about how in the world did we do this, and, and I'm real proud of our, our little city, and glad we can do what we can do. And we am. Larry? I have a close session to discuss all that. Okay. Mike? Just our two new guys are getting closer. They're getting antsy. They're ready to go. Get over with. We're getting antsy and we're ready for them uh, to yeah, go. Yes, uh, we are. Uh, their academy date is the 1st of October. Is it 12 weeks? weeks? Is that all it Is it 12 weeks? No, try 18. I'm going to say it's 18 or 19. 18. Yeah. Uh, there may be 20. I think they're getting ready to cut it down like they're fixing to be start the first of the year. New recruits have to do 94 hours, I believe it is, online before they go. So that cut two weeks out of it. And they got to take a test when they get there to make sure that they did listen to it. Uh, so they're getting ready to go October. They're looking forward to it. We are too. We're glad to get them back. They have cut it down. It used to be what, 24 or five weeks? It was 20, 23, maybe. It was. Cut it a couple times, I think. And they're talking about. Yeah, it was 16, it went 18, 21. They're still talking about doing a new one in Madisonville? I hadn't heard that. I think there was some talk about it at one time. I think it's for in service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. David? I got it, thank you. No. Oh. <laughs> Vicki? Thank you, Is this where I ask a couple of questions? Yes, ma'am. The first one, I don't know if I'm in the right place. 
how would you go about, or would it be appropriate to put a 20 mile an hour sign between 62 and Goshen? Those two hot roads and the detour off the of Main Street, they're all 35. And I know there's one on 4th Street coming off Main, which no one pays attention to. Well, they don't. But there's nothing between Goshen and 62 saying 20 miles an hour. I walk there all the time. And I didn't know if it wouldn't be appropriate to put where one since there's so much traffic. And the only reason I ask is because no, once I took a flash photograph at Newark Airport right after 9 11, and I was told real quickly no flash photography. It's posted everywhere before you come to the airport. But I got off another plane and it was not posted anywhere. And the police had to agree that it was not posted when I left the one plane to get to the terminal before transferring. Once they verified that, then we were okay. But at the time, and that came to mind when I'm wondering why these people are running through, like they don't know it's a residential area and it's, and it's 20 miles an hour. I didn't know if that would be a valid question for you. We can get a sign put up. Because all city streets, unless otherwise noted, are 20 mile an hour. And some of them say so. Yeah. That one doesn't. Is that the Federal Highway? Could that Wait, you're Broad. talking about this street. Right here. Broad. Oh, Broad. Right. Yeah, okay, Broad and Madison. I knew it was one. Yeah. And I don't so know that'd be fine. on Ridgecrest. I don't go there. there. I know there's one on Ridgecrest. I think there's one on the whole end. I don't remember. I've seen it, but I couldn't tell you where it's at. I just know this one that gets shorter and shorter. That's usually about the place where they start gunning it to make it up the next hill. So it doesn't really matter, but if they don't put it on there, then, I mean, if they do know, then, well, that's obvious. <laughs> You're disregarding it. Yeah. Some people making a detour. We have a lot of truckers that determined before the signs went up, and the detour was there. It's like, I don't want to go down there. And they would end up going all the way to the end of 473, back to Hartford to get to another place to come through before the signs went up. That was just one question, and I have another question. All right. What's the status on the alley behind 410 with Rod Street? We've already voted to. I have not received any paperwork, and this is the fourth summer, which Mr. Allen knows. He went and spoke to him once before this year. I, we can't plant there. And it's made my mother very sad. And well, I just want to know. Turned over, turned over. Yeah, we voted to do a quick claim deed yeah. to your mom. We have not seen any paperwork and until I know where we could put a little border fence, exactly where to put it, so I can try to move some flowers here. It's, it's important to her. Yeah. It, it, you know, right now the building has been in the alley since July 1st. And they're burning it slowly, and it's, it's gone. They're what? They're burning it. The building? Yeah. The last two weeks, it's uh, been burning. That's a no no. Yeah, I was going to say. Well, I we kind of wonder about that because you can't hang your laundry out. <laughs> they're taking it apart. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not in a building. It, yeah, but that's still. <laughs> Can you check on that, David? Where's it at? Right, right up, up here, here on 315 Fourth Street. It's Her mom's the house on the corner of Fourth and Crawford. Broad, Crawford. So it'll be right it's behind the other side the street. Do you, do you have a copy of yours and your mother's deed? Yeah, we. I thought we got so one from Mr. Conway. I think you probably have been informed that we've voted on that. County attorney. This is my original. Cost fifteen hundred dollars. So you've already had it surveyed then? Yes, okay. we had it. That we had to wait that summer, a uh, few months to get it done. And the night that the stake was put up, it disappeared. This is a description of what? It's my mother's property. We quit claim there. No, no, the alley. The alley yeah. But she's still going to have a description of the alley. Right. Um, anyway, when I spoke to the county attorney, he asked me to scan the same thing to him that I sent to you. And now I'm not getting the answers back from anybody. Yeah, we, huh? My mom was 94. Yeah, but, She's wondering if you just wait until she dies to take care of it, you know? No, because we've already had the vote. It's, it's, not, it's not a problem voting. 
but, but, but you still have to have a description of the alley is, is, the, is the issue. And if you've, got, if you've got four calls, then we can have a description. But you can't just say, indeed, such and such an alley. Um, I'll take it, this is the alley? I said, yeah, that's the alley, and I think that's the building they're talking about that's been in, being torn down. It was pushed into the alley, and now they're burning it. On their property, though. Wait, they pushed it into the alley? Well, I think they didn't mean for it to go. They, probably, <laughs> they had okay, calls against the arbor. <laughs> And just kind of slid down there. And it just kind of, I don't think it went well. They should have taken it apart differently. I think the building was partly on the alley to begin with. It was. Yes, According it was. to the deed, it is. And to give him due, that building has always been there. Yeah. He didn't put it there. Right. It's been there longer than I've been alive. Well, I know. Because I used to visit the lady that lived there. It, it, and it was scary then. The building's on who? The belt, the it's one that's the coming area. down was part of it was on the alley and part of it was on the other property. That's why they had it tore down because it's on the alley. Okay. The, the other property belonging to whom? I don't know who owns it now. Bill Case was the one who owned it. Bill Case property and his son Mike Felty is the one that oh last drove through Mom's yard. The, 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 pro the problem is. Yes, the, the, the problem is that if there's a building there, and it sits there for 15 years. The ground under the building belongs to whoever the building belongs to. So, so at, at this point, if this, if this survey is accurate, whatever part of this building that encroaches on the alley uh, actually belongs to the case property, okay? Mm -hmm. the, the city, it's, of course, it's always questionable in these alleys, well, the city ever owned it anyway? That's because the city never accepted it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And it's just like all these other alleys where there's been a subdivision. The, the plan of the subdivision was never approved by the city. It was never deeded to the city. And therefore, the best the city can do is give a um, quick claim. Quick claim. Okay. You can you can fathom up a description here of some sort, just just knowing what's north and south, and it's 15 foot wide. But what I'm saying to y'all is, if the survey's accurate, the city absolutely does not own the ground under the building. And it was about three or four foot onto the yeah. right. That's not the city's property. That that belongs by adverse possession to whoever owns the building. The whole strip of the alley, that three or four feet, the whole strip? No, no. Just that little square? Just, just right here. Okay, just that little okay. square. Just that little part, part right there. So even though they're torn the building down, it's not going to make a difference? Well, who's going to, who, have they torn the building down? They're in the process. It's flat. I can show you pictures. Okay. Well. There's no part of it left? It's burnt, huh? There's they're no part there. of it left? Piles in it. Piles in the alley? Piles all over? Yeah. Yeah. Piles in the alley? Piles in the alley? There's a big pile. And it's a big burn pile, but I believe Mr. Allen's going to check pile that out. There's a big pile where the building down, or whoever pulled the building down. There's a big pile there, and I guess they've been taking a whole lot of time. Mm -hmm. Have it's, you had you hadn't had any more trouble with them mowing over I'm there? I'm not planting there. Well, I know, but they have. I don't want to have a problem, so I haven't planted. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but they haven't been mowing down on there, have they? Since I not since I quit, not since this last time, because I haven't put any more flowers okay, back. That, that, okay. If I put the flowers back, that's saying come and get it. Every year, four summers in a row. Well, I don't think, what I'm trying to say, I, when I, after I talk to them, I don't think they have mowed that now. No, but they continue to park there. The they take the whole park. Are they park. parking in the alleyway? Yeah. <laughs> the problem with the Wherever they want, and they know I'm not going to plant there, I'm waiting to find where I can put the fence. The problem with the quick claim deed is that all, basically all it says is, if the city owns it, we're deeding it to you. If the city doesn't own it, we're not deeding you anything. And, and um, that's all the city can do is give a deed a quick claim but there's no warranty to it whatsoever. That's why it says special warranty. It means no warranty. 
So the city, when the city deeds this alley to somebody, uh, it's about that much better than no color of title. It's a little title because the city says, if we own it, we're deeding it to you. But, but a quick claim deed under these circumstances where the city knows going in that the, stink, the property was never turned over to the city and it's been an ongoing problem here. You know that. Oh, for sure. mm -hmm. they're everywhere. For, yeah, everywhere. Uh, if y'all want me to do a, a deed of quick claim and try to draft a description off of this, yeah, I can, I, I, I can do it. And, 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 not in, and even include this area where the building's falling down. There's not a standing building there, is that right? It's all right. right. Okay. But y'all clearly have to understand what you're getting, okay? You're getting a deed of quick play. And, and uh, if they contest your title to it, the city won't be involved in it one way or the other because the city hasn't claimed to own it. I want to know where I can put a fence. Please? I want to know where we can put a fence. To keep them from that being in the alley. If you get a deed of quick claim and you want to put a fence that, there, that you can put a fence. Uh, if somebody contests your right to put the fence, then a court's going to have to determine whether or not you have the right to have the fence there. My mother's already spent the money on this. What else do we need to do? I didn't, I didn't hear you, please. You talking about building the fence? I'm, I'm talking about we've already paid for the survey. And I know oh, people sorry. pay money for landscaping. And every year we've tried again to put flowers there, plants. He Actually, the man stole my mother's bank because he was further in on the seven and a half foot, not on the middle, not in the bank. But he comes into the seven and a half foot part way inside, I believe to intimidate her, which that day he did threaten her with that track hoe and somebody else came out and he finally stopped. That was Easter Sunday morning when he said he was working for the city. That was three years ago, but it's involved four summers. Are we supposed to just continually live like this and I could go dig up your property, somebody else could dig up yours, and nothing well, happened because, well, it's just going to have to be. You, you know, the city, the city, uh, I, I can tell you how you can clear it up, and it's not worth going through that to clear it up, but, but this, this, this alleyway is, is, is no different than, than, um, the city has got about as much ownership of this alleyway as they've got uh, a piece of ground five miles out of the city. They don't, the way to clear it up is to determine who did the original subdividing, which goodness gracious goes back a long time ago. Goes back probably 75 years. Oh, and, oh, and, oh, and, oh, and you then have to petition the court to quiet the title to it. Uh, and you know, the cost of that is far greater than the ground itself. Y'all, what you've asked for is for the city to give you a deed of quick claim to what's shown on this plat, and as I understand it, they've agreed to do it. But please understand when they do it, they're not warranting that they own it. And so they're giving, they're, get, they're signing a deed of quick claim. If we, if we have any ownership of this, it's yours. And I'm assuming there's no consideration on it, no cost or anything for deeding it. So there's not a problem in giving the deed of quick claim. But it's not the same as buying a piece of property in which you're getting a deed of general warranty in which the seller is saying to you, we own it, we guarantee it, and we will stand by the guarantee, period. The date of quick claim, there is no warranty to it because the city has has never accepted this property. But if you want a date of quick claim, it, they can deed it to you. But then if your question becomes, okay, you deeded it to us and we want to put flyers here and somebody's interfering with that and you come back to the city, 
the city's position will have to be, there's nothing we can do about it. But would we have a document? You'll and then we could, quick if one. I needed to, like, we never called when plants disappeared off the porch. You know, it's not that big a deal. But if you take the time and trouble, my grandmother's plants are gone. My grandma's been gone for nearly 20 years. She planted those flowers. And they're gone. They're stolen. Along with the bank that was there that kept the trash that comes down the hill out of our yard. Now, all kinds of trash, especially from that building, comes into the yard and everyone's been out there to pick it all up. A natural fence line was there. There had been a nice little family that used to live there. They picked their trash up out of the flowers every Wednesday night. They also picked flowers with my mom and aunt's blessing. But every time we plant something, Mr. Allen saw it. it was trying to grow and it was walked off. With the cinder blocks, it was deliberate. It was deliberate intimidation and threatening, not just on the alley. He was trying to put the whole 15 feet in Mom's yard. Because he came all the way down to the snowball bush. There used to be these other lilies there. And Mr. Sandifer saw the tracks the next day. Yeah, he went all the way down on their property. That was Bill, and we talked talked to him at the he, time. He went down on their property. Mr. Brown's. Way down. Well, you can certainly stop him. You're going to hire a lawyer and stop him from going down on your property, period. The, the question I think we're being asked is, okay, if you deed, we get a deed of quick claim, will the city, if, if he interferes with our right to use this old alleyway, will the city then defend the title to it? And the answer to that is no, because the city's not telling you that it owns it. I don't really expect anything from the city, except if I've got, if we've got a, something, some sort of document saying, yes, we have something we could, if we had to take it to court, if he did tear down the fence. You know, I'm sorry, this brings out the worst in me. I actually screamed at a total stranger, and I lived in New York 20 years, and I never screamed at anybody in the city. And people do that all the time there. So A.B., a quick claim deed is saying, if we own it, we will claim it to her. But if we don't own it, we don't own it. That is correct. That is, that's and that's what that, has I mean, already I, been I, approved. I, 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 we have deeded it to you. Now, now once, the, the, once the deed is filed, if they decide to fence it, let's say, and from the, 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 the deed of quick claim is at least some color of title, and then the idea generally is you take possession of the property that, that is included in the deed of quick claim. But remember, once you take it, you've got to exercise control over it for 15 years before title ripens in the person that's exercised control over it. So, so um, there's not a problem if the city is, uh, has, has indicated, we'll give you a deed of quick claim. We can put together a description of some sort that will cover, once I know exactly what the, the, the parameters of, of, of what's included, uh, this not, you know, a deed of quick claim is easy to prepare. It's not one of those things. But, but the, it's, it, what I've tried to explain to them is that it's better than nothing, but it's not... Not much better. Not much better, and it gets better once they start to exercise control over it, and once they, if they fence it, and... and but the, the issue comes if this neighbor, whoever it is, tears down the fence or encroaches on the property, then they have to take whatever steps that they choose to stake in court to stop them. But then it comes a civil matter, which we don't deal with civil right. matter. Right, right. Okay. But and I know I've already called every year. I've called, and y'all have been very, very patient, and I appreciate your time and trouble. Um, well, I don't but, understand why it hadn't been done. I don't, I don't know. Because we spent some time. And I've called. Anyway. 
many times. Yeah. I, I've called the county attorney and I sent him that. And he has not, nobody will no return my call. Well, we will get a document, a quick claim deed done. Yeah. Now, no, especially if you have to have 15 years, my mother will tell you if she doesn't have a lot if of you, Well, if you will uh, uh, mark this for me, we'll do it. I'll, I'll have the data quick plane done this week. What do you mean, mark it? So I know exactly where, where, what the what areas include. How far down it goes on your yeah. property. Yeah, one area is open. Whatever is on the survey that these people, I mean, it's a high dollar piece of paper there. I don't know where it ends and, and there is no the end of the alley huh? the, the end of the alley at Virginia's line so right here because that was I remember that because we looked all that, that up map. it doesn't show it ended there it didn't go any further than there but it doesn't show that on the plat yeah that's what I'm saying that's what, it shows it going on instead of stopping oh okay. so that's what he was there are about. markers on his on and the property and then he says the man I don't remember his name says that gives the seven and a half feet for the alley. The marker is seven and a half feet within the property line and if the city gave yeah. up the alley well, this this that is would be this seven is and a half feet down way. Which would actually feet from this point to this point. point. Right. Yeah and that should be the end of it right there. Which if this is supposed to be the end of it, then you go 15 feet in this direction, right. and I assume I come back with the, the, the I bet you they were option seven and a half feet from the edge of the garage. Yeah, you wouldn't and that's not yep. that much. Yeah, starting yeah, at the beginning here, yeah. it, it's not a problem yeah. doing the description, okay. um, but I don't want to mess the flat up. So, uh, well, I have emailed it to Mr. Cowan, and I have emailed it to and I can they email it to you. Well, this new property manager said something about Barney. This is actually in my office, but he's the, he's the county attorney. This is not a county matter. It's a city. And it hasn't made its way to me, although he's in the next office. Well, he's, so, so, actually, I did send it to your email office. Contact EPA. Because when I said, oh, do you know Mr. Conway? And he said, yes, I do. And I said, oh, that's the address. And he said, well, that was my part. Well, I'm not sure I've got it, but that's neither here nor there. I will get it. If you will just show me, I will sure. mark it and get me a copy of the okay? Do what? Where do I need to bring it? Huh? Where do I need to bring it? I didn't think they could burn any kind of household garbage. There's, there's three of them here. If you give me one of them, huh? show me something before you leave. Right. You won't need to bring it in. There's more in the house of the city ordinance than EPA. Okay. Here's I don't know you could burn here. There's, there's lemon brush. brush. Yeah, they're identical. Well, this one's identical to the Yeah, that's identical to that. The only time limit is when the state six A to six P or six P to six A comes into effect. Where this line ends is a very open. We have an ordinance about burning leaves. Like it does. It looks like There's an ordinance in there about burning like leaves. It, yeah. it either is here or in there. This call, this call, this call goes. See, so mom has doing material the house, leaves, leaves. Yeah, and well, then she brought this property. We're, 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 yeah, no, we're up here, though. And right. Technically this, is and, and and this, is, this call goes from this point leaves, leaves, this point leaves, 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 anything to this point yeah. right here. So I knew that. And that's the only that's the only call on there, so i got to make the other calls up. It can't allow that because we cannot have ordinances there. There is no call from here to here. It doesn't add up with what that's fifteen. But we can still enforce that because we are not. We can't. Those anything that says it allow cardboard or stuff is null and void when EPA passed that law because we cannot be less strict than that. We can be more strict, but not less. Probably from the Austin point. But if you get me a copy, it needs to be updated. I'll, I'll, I'll but it's still, we can still idea. enforce it because they say those laws are basically null and void. If these ones are alike, when EPA or the state does something more stricter than what we've got. Yeah, that's not I'll need to create a stair point here and point here. See, now that's 
this guy here, he's got his garden right there. And I mean, he's not mowing mama's stuff. So wherever, and there's a street light there we can't get to. The only thing the city can do is give you a deed, a deed of quick claim that goes from this point to this point using this call. And, and this point to this point, and technically I can probably use this, how many feet is it, 15? 15. Okay. And then th this call here, where there is no stake, to this, to this point here, where there is no stake, and there needs to be one, you reverse, reverse this call. It's not a, this, we can prepare the description, but I think what you're saying is, that before the city even deeds it to you, some parts of this area in here are being used by somebody for for some by, for some purpose. That was Miss Annabelle's garden. Okay, I and understand. But what what this, what I have to say for the city is they can give you a deed of quick quick claim. They can't do anything to stop these people from doing. Once you get the deed of quick quick claim, y'all are going to have to do it. Hey. They're not mowing mom's flowers. I don't care what they do. Okay. You know, they have to, oh. We share Polk. Gabby, I don't, didn't, I guess that's his, well, his name. He likes Polk. And he and Courtney are good neighbors. I have never had trouble with neighbors before. But I've never had somebody just dig up our property. The man actually drove his lawnmower down through on her property. All the way through. Then it is then it is trespass, but once again, yeah. it's not something the city does about it. I, I know you don't. Know. Okay. But that's All right. what she's having to do. Give, put you, give me, you got a pad over there, maybe. Yep. Give me your phone number name, okay? <laughs> yeah, you can run the quick man. That's all we can do, really. Okay. And I, I appreciate y'all's attention to this. Yeah. Okay. Let's get Now, what has to happen when we get this done? We have to present oh. this to you. Okay? So once it's done, I'll get you a copy of it. And then the original goes to the mayor for the mayor's signature. And then it's up to you to record it. You have to take it to the clerk's office and record it. Okay? Do they know what I'm doing when I'm going there with it? Oh, yeah. You take an executed date over and say you want to record it. Yes, they'll record it. They'll take care of you. I said from working along long ago, lawyers and doctors are, you know. Is that all we do? You know, the only other time I was at one of these meetings was maybe the late 90s when that same house, the rats, and the Santa was with us to get crap for the best house. Yeah. Well, the people that, that have it now, are they, are, is he causing you trouble? Like Bill did, or is this? Is it, his stepson. Oh, I thought they sold it to somebody on contract. I don't know. That's are paying for everybody. Okay. They're working on it. And there's this poor woman, and she's the one that's been out there cleaning that building up the whole time. And she is a hard worker. I feel bad for her. But they have a big brown truck, and the brown truck holds yeah, off a lot of stuff. Of over and, and they just keep burning on with them all night. They're just, they're allowed. You know, they're in the day. Well, they're well, in the day. Well, and well, and the the streets that the it has a put cut the arbor in, which is good. To city you know, they, they watch it. It's just that it's still in the alley. It had been all clean. And then, and I'm telling you, all the little bit. I'm not going to plant anything there and get mad at us. They're burning a little at a time, so no one will notice. Oh, it goes up in flames. I have pictures of that. 
And just in case they have a bit of them too. They yeah. up trailers. I'm telling you, if you like to build a trailer too, they're hauling some of them off. If we they're not going to burn all of it. I know which one it is, but I haven't seen them burn it yet. I'm sure they are burning some of them. Oh, I've got a picture. It goes way high. You know, but it's not on the windy days. That's good. It goes straight up, very high. All right. Yeah. yeah. Very close session. Make a motion go in close session. Second. I heard a motion. Do we have a second? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I have a motion. We go back in. We got a second. I second. Okay, back in open session then. Uh, like I said, we did have closed session. No business was conducted. We are back in open session. Okay, due to safety concerns, uh, I'd like to make a motion that we give the property owner 30 days to remove the fence out there at the, I don't know what the title of that place is. Beaverdam Plaza, I believe. Beaverdam Plaza, because safety concerns have that removed, and if after 30 days he is and, not. Well, and the ballers. And the ballsters. And the ballsters? Okay, and the ballsters. And if it's not done in 30 days, we can we would file suit against them. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Anything else to bring up? Make a motion we dismiss. Second. <laughs> All in favor. Aye. Uh, back at church and you're going to dismiss?